Hey guys, welcome back. This is lesson two of Free Code Camp's basic algorithm scripting section. Lesson two is called factorialize a number, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, but let's read this. It says return the factorial of the provided integer. If the integer is represented with the letter N, a factorial is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. Factorials are often represented with the shorthand notation n exclamation point. For example, 5 exclamation point is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, which equals 120. So, I guess they want us to implement this inside of this function here. Um, let's see, it says, so that should return a number. Okay. So here we have num. They want us to, whatever number's passed in here, they wanted to basically multiply starting with one all the way up to that number including that number. So if we were to do 4, it should do 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which would be 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, times 1 is 24. So what we can do is probably use a loop. I'm going to say a for loop, but first so I'll declare a variable called total and have it set to 0. Uh, let me try one and then I would do a for loop with a variable of i initialized to I guess one also and we want it as long as i is less than as long as i is less than num I would want to increment i. So then what do I want the code to do? I would want it to, to take total and then have it equal total times i. I could probably do times equals, which is the same as doing total equals total times something I would want it to so as it's going through this loop so 5 is passed into num so i is less than 5 I should probably do i is less than or equal to num so that way it's so it starts at 1 this is true so then it in increments but as it's true it goes through here and it do total is equal times equals uh, num, whatever was passed in there, no, i. So, just to make sure none of returns, I want to return total. So here, let me walk through this. When we pass in five in here, we have a variable called total that's at one but five is passed in and then we have a our loop that checks if one is less than five which it is so this code runs which would be one is equal to one times one and then it goes through the loop again and then i is now 2, so 2 is less than 5, so it runs this code, which would be 1 times 2, so I'm thinking this should be okay, let's just try running it, so it worked. So we could pass in anything in here, like let's just do the number 3. So well, what I expect this to do is 3 gets put into the parameter of num right here. 
So then 1, which is i, is less than 3. So we run this code. So 1 is equal to 1 times 1, and it runs it again through the loop. And then i is 2. So it would be 1 times 2, which is 2. And then it runs through this loop again. And now i is 3. So that would be 2 times 3, which is 6. So that would be the answer. And it stops there because now uh, 3 is equal to 3. So that's why it would work. Okay.